What's really good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. What's really good? You know, um, you know, shout out to Black, Black Fight Fan TV. Shout out to the whole LDBC movement out there. But um, you know, like Black Fight Fan TV and a lot of people, especially from that Texas, uh, Dallas area. And uh, shout out to Houston, man. Hopefully everything gets moving, and um, you can overcome all that bullshit that's going on. You know, uh, praying for them. Um, but um. Huh. You know, people act like, you know, give Keith Thurman a chance to be a bitch. Pretty much. Give him a chance to be a ducker. Can we just give him a chance? People jumping on Keith Thurman. He ducking, he ducking. We know he's injured. He fought once last year. He fought once this year. We know he's injured. Understand that. Everybody knows he's injured. So why are you going saying he's skipping, he ducking Earl Spence, he doing it? He's not ducking anybody. Told you guys that he'd probably be out for the rest of the year. He'd resume his career at the top of next year when he's in shape. I seen him about a, I seen him about a month ago. He looked a little bit heavy. Um, probably nothing that he can't handle. He'll strip down. He'll get down. Get down from that weight. Um, you know, have a tune up fight. May may it be Danny Garcia or something like that. Then probably come back. Um, if Danny and Sean don't fight, and probably rematch Sean in the middle of next year. Um, we know he's been fighting once the last two years, so he at least got to fight three times next year, in my opinion. And um, if he skips over Earl Spence in 2018, then we we can start yelling duck sauce. You know. Um, but right now, you know, keep saying that he's scared. Somebody that's 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 currently not active, that's currently injured, currently apparently got married or engaged in uh, Alapaco, uh, India, wherever the hell he was at. Um, you know, you know, clearly healing up from that elbow surgery. Let him just be him. You dig? You know, everybody. You know, he duck, he duck it. Hey, he ain't Danny Garcia. He ain't Sean Porter. Two active fighters actively looking for a fight. That's not him. He's a guy that's on the shelf. You know. And he was in the same position that um he was he was in the same position that Earl Spence was a couple year a couple year a few years ago. He was in that position. He was a guy crying and calling everybody out and being you know you know he was just more adamant. He was more polarizing in his delivery. You know, talking shit about Khan, talking shit about Mayweather, talking shit about Earl Spence. He was you know he was talking about everybody. He seemed to be a little bit more passive about Earl Spence though. Oh, he need to earn his. And he was even saying that before he made it. You know, now he got the position, the comfortable position that he got that he had to earn. People want Earl Smith to go the same route. You know, it's funny. You know, people forget where they come from. People, you know, Keith Thurman could look at Earl Smith and say, oh, that was me. A young, powerful, punching guy trying to prove himself, trying to move up and get a shot. Now, you know, it's up to him if he want to return the favor. And I don't think he wants to return the favor. He wants Earl Smith to suffer like he suffered. He wants Earl Smith to move up the ladder like he moved up the ladder. And for that reason, he wants somebody else to lay the blueprint and make Earl Smith look vulnerable before he takes the fight. Happens in fighting and in, in boxing uh, often, too often. You know, some people just scared to find the blueprint. But all I ask of you guys, if this fight does happen sooner than later or later than sooner, um, if Keith Thurman beats that ass, don't don't go missing. You know, I'm not saying that Keith would beat Earl Spence or Earl Smith would beat Keith at this point. It's a little bit premature. But all you Earl Spence fans, you know, shout out to Mr. ILBTA, Correy, you know, Black Fight fan, you know, whoever Earl Spence fans, you know, um, if he gets that ass whooped, let's, let's not go into hiding. I'm not accusing any of you guys of hiding before, but let's not go. Don't let me have to come find you on the back of a milk carton. You know, I take my shit on the chin. I take my crow. I eat it with sauerkraut and motherfucking mustard on the motherfucking shit, you know. So if Keith Thurman beats Earl Spence, I don't hear no excuses. Oh, he waited too long. Oh, Earl Spence was lethargic. He was rusty. I don't hear none of that shit. Oh, Keith Thurman ran all night or none, none of that shit. Let's just take it as man, you know. Let's take our 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 uh, let's take our our our, our punches on the chops and come out and say, oh, Keith Thurman was the better man because every time you motherfuckers build up and book him, oh, he's scared. He's scared. And they get beat, motherfuckers just go missing. You need an APP out for these guys. You know, if Thurman, you know, runs, beats Earl Spence, dogs him out, however he wins, you got to give him his credit. You know, but hopefully it's sooner or later. But if Keith starts ducking and 2018 goes by, he don't get Earl Spence a shot, then we start screaming duck sauce. We gone.